Van. I'm sorry. That's Booby. And Jolpy and Ghosty and Christmas PJs. <laughs> Pony said this is the whitest thing yep. I've ever seen you in before. Yeah, she did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. <clears throat> um, it's, it's Christmas time, so we relate. It, our Christmas tree is probably going to stay up till well into the middle of January. It is, at least. I'm gonna put it up there. I don't care what you say. <laughs> All right. Uh, That's obvious. This is. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I had to do something because I haven't said anything for the White Knights to come uh, crashing down to your rescue in a while. So I needed to say something for the White Knights. To what come do you mean? You didn't hug me in that review. That brought a lot of them. Oh yeah. yeah really. What? That that was like a month ago. So. Oh, okay. Um, tomorrow, which will be today, in the minds of those people, we're we're just gonna do a marathon to catch up with mm -hmm. all our stuff. Um, so thank you to the uh, Alliance picks. You guys have been very very patient, and then we should be able to. Anyway, I'm like, um, please stop. For talking. timely topical political commentary, <laughs> you can hit us up at Middle America with Vin and Sorry. Yes, that would be us. And uh, also, check out this nifty little screenshot. Oh my gosh. This made me cry when pretty, I saw pretty it. Pretty emotional. <laughs> yeah. Pretty emotional. I'm not going to lie. Uh, one of our own, one of the, the, one of our own low speller, beautiful soul that she is, gave birth to a little baby girl. I told you guys before, if you didn't hear the story, she didn't know that she was pregnant until she, she was, was like, delivering. I asked her, have I said, the Yo. baby. I was like, what in the world? Yeah. That's the second time I've seen that happen. Yeah. Yes, me too, actually. That was That's the, the other... second time. I don't know if we... It we was did... the same girl. Well, then I've seen we it three her, times. We saw her in the seven... <gasps> That's right! Actually, no. This is the third time, too. Shout out to HP. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, crazy stuff. God works in mysterious ways. Uh, thank you to everybody who's pitched in the baby registry. Shout out to all our patrons. I know, because yeah. Because you guys have already uh, done that. So thank you very much. If anybody um, else is interested in it, the link is going to be in the description of this video. And also beneath the registry link, you'll see a link where you can actually meet her because we actually did a call with her. Like, obviously, before she was not pregnant. Not a call. But... I mean, uh, an entire song review. It was a... Uh, well, yeah. Uh, yes. Satanist reacts to Christian right. music. It was so like you can watch that reaction. It was like a flip thing. So it's just crazy how stuff works out. Yeah. I, I know that we're, we live in an empty universe and there's no God that plans stuff and stuff. But what can you do? This, however, <laughs> is all... It's all coincidence. We're just random... Adam spaced us bumping into each other. Yep. And we're about to hear some more Adams randomly bounce uh, together and make something represent awesome. represent <laughs> only in America head PE. Let's do it. Oh, oh, okay. I'll tell that after. And go. Let's get this shit started. Yeah, where my dogs at? Get your drinks up, your joints up. Ladies, pull your tits out. Come on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bitch, what? <laughs> Inject this hoe. They say I need to sing this on my record, yo. Keep it clean and write your lyrics more respectable. No, no. You guys need to bubble on these testicles. This is punk rock, bitch. I'm a spectacle. But you don't hear me, no.
make a choice, motherfucker, make a choice. Make a choice, motherfucker, make a choice. Make a choice, motherfucker, they can't silence the voice of a rapper. I'm talking American made hand grenades, homegrown Russian AK 47s adapted, now fully automatic. Start the revolution, let these commies fucking have it. Bitch, what? Bitch, I don't give a fuck. 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 My Stripper soldiers, that's why I never ever said die. Come on. I came back because the youth gotta hear this. The FCC, the corporate faggots fear this. But this time I will not be silent. I cloak myself in the flag in the first amendment. When John Hancock said it, he meant it. Abe Lincoln, Bob Marley meant that shit, and my dogs represent that shit. But you don't hear me, no. I don't give a fuck. But you don't hear me, no. I don't give a fuck. But you don't hear me, no. I don't give a fuck. I can't hear you. Fuck you. Motherfucker, don't take no shit. 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 Now, I do remember, <laughs> so Toby's the one that picked this song. He said, you guys reviewed this band before and liked it. Two of the band members are friends of mine. <laughs> this was a time when they were being told what to do and how to sound, trying to make them pop stars from the success of the bartender single. <clears throat> Jared, the singer, wasn't down with that and went AWOL, LOL. <laughs> so this is really quite a vulgar song. Hopefully you're allowed to play it. So, yeah, I mean... Yes, I see how he went AWOL. I think this guy did some time in the military, I'm pretty sure. So I, I think I think he used to yeah, he used to work at the US Army or something like that. Um, we should probably get an interview with Yeah, I mean so this this happens all the time. What? Tool had ticks and leeches. Yes, where they're always trying to tell people what it's, to do. Well, not it, it's basically, hey, if you sing more. Mm-hmm. Uh, although with Ticks and Leeches, it was everybody was trying to be heavy because of Slipknot, mm -hmm. and then so they did Ticks and Leeches. You know, that, that. Oh yeah, but uh, it's the same idea though. Yeah, people are like, no, this guy really, really said no. It's really interesting. <laughs> it was like, I feel like he was just saying everything offensive. Just well, to no, be offensive. He, he wasn't. He didn't say the N word at all, which I, I think this guy's like half black. Or well, whatever. yeah, but you know, he he. he uh, he, he didn't so I mean he didn't he did you know what I mean like I think there's like limits to mm -hmm. but at the time saying that word was was I mean it was like edgy it was like whoa that's a bad word but it wasn't like it is now where mm -hmm. that would like end your career mm -hmm. I try to stay away from saying it not because I'm worried about I mean shoot we wouldn't talk about abortion if we were worried about views mm -hmm. because we take a completely right. antithetical view on the metal community on abortion but I, I just except for Slayer I, I've just it wasn't that, that Slayer right, song right. <laughs> I agree I, I've just you know I, I think I just have too many friends I think to say that word now you know mm -hmm. what I mean and, and just listening to their stories and all the rest of it although you know but so, so like I'm not like oh I'm completely turned off by this band but it was just I think what was this 2001 2002 mm -hmm. like this is like pure new metal 2004 I think that was like the last year or two where you could get away with saying that and still keep your career I think if somebody really wanted to be edgy and said some shit like that now 
it, that would be the end of you. Mm -hmm. That would literally be the end of you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, right. I am not certain. See, if you go down here, he's talking about Malcolm X and JFK mm -hmm. and all these people and, and, yep. and free speech and Bob Marley and... Yeah, what did Bob... I don't know a whole lot about Bob Marley. What did he... How did he contribute to what that topic well, was? Well, it's just about free speech and speaking unpopular messages and he was talking about, you know, the oppressive mm. uh, U.S. Yeah. government and, and Europeans, white people, blah, blah, blah. And mm -hmm. so they were saying things that were unpopular. Right, right. But one of the things, it, 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 it's a real conflict in my mind because on the one hand we're YouTubers and like I said shit about 20 seconds ago mm -hmm. and so that's going to dock me, dock us as mm -hmm. far as YouTube uh, marketing our video. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the other side when you do a middle America video on political commentary, yeah. there's a whole oh. host of words you cannot say. Mm -hmm. You can say them, but they'll uh, automatically demonetize your channel. Right. They will not. Right. They will not. You know, there was one specific video where I had everything like perfect, and they marketed it to like twenty thousand people. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, but also a lot of it is you know the political bias, obviously, which mm -hmm. I don't have a problem. See, a lot of people have a problem with YouTube and, and Google having these political biases. I, well, Google, I think, is a different animal. I don't have a problem. Like, YouTube does not owe me to, 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 to market my stuff. They don't owe that to me. Yeah. I'm getting a, I, this is a free platform where I can put my thoughts out there for hundreds of thousands yeah. of people to see. Yep. They don't owe me shit. Right. Yeah. So if they say, I don't like this. I don't like the implications of what you say. I want to continue with the impeachment bullshit, and you're saying impeachment is bullshit, so mm -hmm. we're not going to rank your video. That's completely their prerogative. That's not a violation of my free speech. Well, I think that, you know, when you look back in the history of how things went, you know, silencing certain people or not allowing certain people into certain restaurants and, you know, not serving black people and stuff like that, I think that it kind of makes people feel uncomfortable when you say, wait a minute. So if they don't go along with your agenda, you're going to make it so that way they can't, you know. I don't have a problem with them not serving black people either. I know you don't, but you're, you are not the majority voice on that. So. You're not. They're a private, they're a private company. They can serve whoever they want. But you are, um, you have to admit that you are not the majority on that. I think if most black people understood the ramifications yeah. of what the forced integration did to our community, mm -hmm. they would agree with me. Brother well, Mr. I agree Farrakhan with you, and, but they and, don't. Uh, Elijah, so the Honorable they Elijah don't. Oh, praise is due to a lot for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, and and that's why I'm like a strict like. This is a private platform that they're allowing us mm -hmm. to do something that is yeah. uh, they inconceivable. They don't have to promote any of our videos. No, yeah. it's ridiculous. They that. should charge us for being able to use this service. I mean, yeah, I get what you're saying. So, so to me, Tim Pool though is like, oh, this is he wants the government to get involved in this, and I'm like, yo, that's crazy, fam. He wants the government to come in. In YouTube and, and, or Google. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, he wants the government to come in and tell people that they can't, you know, whatever. Well, I mean... And I think that that's crazy. I, I absolutely have a problem with Google. Because Google is being used as a dictionary and as a source of of actual I information. Think, I think Google and YouTube are different. I agree with you. I mean, they're, they're related, but they're... Yeah. I, I agree. I think the Google thing is... If you people know, can't find the facts because you're pushing other facts toward them, well, that's not well, right. The whole thing where that guy testified in in and the guy voted for Hillary, mm -hmm. but he testified that there was like Google manipulated between four and twelve million votes for Hillary by the way that they did things. That I go whoa 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 mm -hmm. whoa whoa that's mm -hmm. that's different because Google is supposed to basically be looked upon as like this this sort of neutral, yeah. sort of just plain Resource information. Resource that you're source. trying to get the information from. Whereas YouTube, right, exactly. YouTube doesn't present itself that way, so I, I agree with you. But the whole thing about like free speech, it's like, the record label was not contesting his free speech. The record label was saying, this is a way that you and us are going to make the most money. Mm -hmm. So, all speech... All speech speech is free, but it's not. But it's expensive in the sense that you have to be willing to pay the price mm -hmm. for what you say. Yeah. So if I say, look, we 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 believe that abortion is killing an innocent human being, 
we know that there's literally millions of people that believe differently than us mm -hmm. and people are going to say well then fuck you i'm unsubscribing mm -hmm. and so i can't say oh they're violating my free speech if they unsubscribe mm -hmm. <laughs> no <laughs> they have the right to do that yeah yeah but i think like with this situation he's an artist and so him and the guy that the record label right. they don't have the same interest in what he's doing the record label is there to make money yeah he's, but he's there, there to, to make, put his he's yes, there to make money too. he is but that's not only why he's there he's like he's there because he enjoys making his music and when they try to push some agenda on him that he doesn't want to do and then he flipped on him no i'm 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 with the flipping on him a thousand percent i'm just okay, so i'm just what are we what i'm talking about here is we can argue about that? no but what i'm talking about here is the free speech angle where he's bringing up malcolm and all the rest oh. of it and the first amendment and all the rest no of it. Like, what i think what he's nobody's trying to say, violating your free speech well i think what he's trying to say is you're trying to bully me by the money and you're trying to silence my voice. Well, fuck that. You're not going to silence my voice. I'll say all the things that I shouldn't be saying. I don't know. I don't know. That. I don't know what the conversation was, but I do know that all, it, this is a common thing. These guys get extremely angry when the the corporate never ever say die. Come on. When we, when these corporates tell them how to how to do their music. Yeah. And to me, I, I just it's I would, rude. It would make me angry. I don't think it's you rude. You just wouldn't do it. It's rude if they're not think, asking for that input. No, I don't I don't think it's rude because the fact of the matter is it doesn't matter what you say. You are selling CDs. You are selling tickets. Period. Mm -hmm. And now you're selling VIP passes because uh, YouTube has destroyed the music industry. Mm -hmm. These dudes are trying to get paid. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea of like oh I'm a pure artist and I don't like, come on man it's like Tool said like of course I'm a sellout what are you talking mm -hmm. about you bought my CD dummy like of course you know in that song oh no I know I exactly what you're talking song, about but that, that to me was like the other half of this whole kind of motif that never gets talked about which yeah. is the artist coming out and saying of course yeah I want to get paid I want to live in a nice house I want to you know whatever I don't have to worry about money anymore mm -hmm. absolutely yeah but so it, it, I don't think it's I don't think he's the saying the same thing as what tool is saying like I don't think he's saying the same thing well, this is the other side of the tool thing this, yes this is this this okay. is right. this I is I this is yeah. this is I am a pure artist and you're not going to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm going to spend the money from the record label, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they're investing their money in you, then they have a right to tell you what they want. You can't have it both ways. Are they? Yeah. They're investing their money in you. Yep. Distribution. How do you think all those CDs get pressed and copied? You think he's doing all oh, that by right, himself? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, they of take course, a gamble in it. Of course they are. That's that, and that's the same reason I'm not mad at YouTube. Yeah. I do a video and it, and it talks about with the BS. Qu yeah, with the, with the BS with this Trump stuff. Yeah. And the and how stupid the whole impeachment thing is. They're gonna demonetize it. They're not gonna. They're mm -hmm. not gonna rank it. Yeah. Period. Right. They right. want. They're leftists, and they, I don't care what anybody says, like, I know for a fact, I look at the numbers, they want you to say a certain thing, mm -hmm. and if you don't say a certain thing, they're not going to rank you, period. Yeah. Well, that's their prerogative. Yeah. They've invested billions of dollars a year in keeping all this thing up, and I'm like, people go crazy, oh, YouTube is killing small creators. They don't owe us anything. Right, right. So, that, that's my thing, is a record label is investing in you, you know, Jay-Z, he went around and, and was shopping his music to everybody. Nobody would take it. They were like, eh. Oh, really? He was just too advanced at the time. Oh, okay. He was just way too advanced. And so they did it themselves. Well, if you do it yourself and you do your own distribution, then you can say that. Mm -hmm. But unless you're, if you, so that's what I'm yeah, saying. It's like, saying. I feel like the first You're not amendment, in this by, the, by yourself. Right. So. And so there's a balance and you just have to, you have to pretty much figure out in your mind what price you have to, what price you're willing to pay. And for us, you know, there there are other issues where I'm like, eh, not really gonna say that, not really worth the fight. But for us, the abortion thing, like that is yeah. worth it. Yeah. Right. Like, and then you know, you know, when we go to the if something catches my attention on Middle America, it's like, okay, that's that's gonna be worth it. But you know, mm -hmm. and so everybody kind of has to make that. So like, I I have no I have no issue with the song. Like, I get what, what's going on. But to me, it's kind of like. I'm not even mad at him for making the song, but it's just, it's, to me, it's like, man, I don't know, we got, you, you got to kind of be, 
a little practical. I, I guess I'm just different because, like you said, like I don't have a problem with the with the mm -hmm. segregation stuff as far as you can't come to this mm -hmm. restaurant. Yeah, I I really don't have a problem with it. Yeah. You know? um, and I wouldn't have had a problem back then. I just said, okay, we'll just go down here. And I believe that <laughs> about you. But not everybody is like you. Right. Right. And that's right. I agree. That's that's the difference. I and I don't think that your idea would work, honey. What do you mean my idea? You're like, you would do, we would just go down there and we would just have our own shop. And then 12% of our income would all be going in one location and they would lose 12%. And so then that's going to do something to the to the white people. And then well, they're gonna that's, not, that's not an idea. That's what happened. Yeah. But if that happens, they're not just going to sit by and let that happen. They're going to do something like they did with Black Wall Street. It's just not going to work. Well, by that time, you had militant elements. You had the Panthers and you had the Nation of Islam. To prevent some So that. you didn't want that smoke. Okay. All right, fair enough. So Maybe it, it would work. It was working. And there is a reason that integration fi finally... There is a, you think these people said, oh, you know what? We need to let these Negroes in. It's the right thing to do. No. You think that's why they were doing that? No. <laughs> they saw what was happening in our community. So, you know, mm -hmm. no disrespect to them. If we were dumb enough to go along with it, then that's on us. That, that's not on them. So I'm not mad at them for that. But they knew what was going on. So it was already happening is what I'm saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, th this is... <laughs> okay, I like the immature <laughs> attitude of this song. Well, what I'm saying is, is like, you know, a lot of these guys, like, they play the record in the board. <laughs> Like, you have this like board meeting with all these stodgy, you know, corporate guys oh in suits, gosh. and he's like, oh "Fuck God. you, corporate motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I'ma drink this, uh, yeah, yeah, I'ma fuck this yeah, all." Yeah, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. And he's just sitting there like this with his dress out, and then, yeah. like, <laughs> well, it's one of those things. Where, you know, like, in movies, they'll, they'll show, like, that scene where somebody does something that's like, well, that was over the top. And then, like, the corporate stuffy people are, like, sitting there. And then, all of a sudden, they're like, yeah! You know what I mean? Like, oh, where yeah. is it, like, I'm so sure, funny? I'm sure a couple of them are like, oh, well, all right, Jared, I think this is going to work. Yeah, this one's going to make us some money. Yeah, 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 yeah. All uh, right, well. Yeah, these guys, this is definitely, this is, this is, like, the quintessential new metal song. If I wanted to <laughs> share, like... There are certain songs, like lyrically, that can only work in that in that era, and this is one of them. Mm -hmm. Like Metallica could never do a song like this. Like mm -hmm. it just it just wouldn't work. Yeah, that was like the genius of new metal. I know people are gonna rag on it. It's simple guitarists, yada yada. I didn't even be sure, but like this level of like raw, stripped down expression, you can only find it in new metal. Do <laughs> not. It, it just that's how it was. Like that's where I was coming up, and so like that's. That was my experience of, music, of metal at the time, was just like, you were raw, there was no like, mm -hmm. you know, sure. flowery, lyricity, no Danny, I didn't know anything about Danny Filth or anything <laughs> like that. It was just raw, straight mm -hmm. to the point, four minute song, we're out. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, like, you feel very like, yeah, motherfucker. Well, I think they uh, So YouTube's gonna derank this video, but I yeah. I had already I, I had it was already, already deranked by the content of the, the I had actual. already said, well look, I'm just gonna it's let over. The, I'm gonna let the fuck bombs fly because the, the once the guy once the guy said the other F word it was a rap. What do you get the song? <laughs> I honestly I don't know. I mean like a It's like a nine, I guess, for what it is. Like, I don't think that it's like, whoa, like, the musical talent was incredible or anything like that. It was just, I mean, it was interesting, and they, like, they went over the top. And I did feel a bit shocked. And when I had read, previously read Toby's message to us, I'm like, okay, so it's going to be, so he's saying it's going to be vulgar, but, you know. And, but then when it was, like, going, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Beginning so he said, of it. hopefully you're allowed to play it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a 9.9 .9 for me. Oh. Uh, it's a new metal song. It's a new metal song, and so that's the genre, and it it captured exactly. This is probably like Corn has another song called "Y'all Want a Single," so which is kind of the same I the same it. idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all want a single, so you fuck that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we should have we should have done that back to back. But oh, uh, man. yeah, there you are. So. There you are, ladies and gents. 9.9. .9. Uh, 9 for me. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone. <laughs>